my name is Lane Hedrick and I'm the Ocarina Springs Diving for Science Underwater Archaeology Instructor. Divers who come to Ocarina Springs to take the Underwater Archaeology course are coming to learn what it means to be an archaeologist and what it means to take those same principles that we learn on land and utilize them underwater. Every time a diver goes into Ocarina Springs, they see a little piece of history. So it's a great experience for them to come down, be able to look at what they see, and be able to look at it in a very analytical way. So we take divers, we train them, we give them the fundamentals they need to be able to help with a survey or even possibly an excavation. Uh, and then they also get a great history from the Ocarina Springs folks and learn a lot about the history of Central Texas. During the weekend workshop, divers come in and we spend two days going over a lot of different skills. Uh, we first go over in the classroom and we look at all the different types of archaeological procedures and then we actually get into the lake, into the, into the arena of Ocarina Springs and we utilize those skills underwater. We take what we have learned in the class, for instance we use uh, underwater mapping where the students are actually taking down datums, taking down hammers and string and they're actually lining up a site, a site that we've actually already mocked up. We've got a, a shipwreck underwater and we've got a cannon and a bunch of you know, artifacts that we use to help the students understand what an archaeological site truly is. By taking the things we've learned in the class and putting that underwater, we're able to explain to them what they're probably going to have to do if they ever get on a real site. Not only are they mapping, but they're also going to have to draw underwater. And most people have a sheer fear of actually drawing, so we give them the techniques to utilize underwater, which really make drawing simple. And after the class, most students are amazed at the type of archaeological drawings that they've produced. We then go into using lift bags. Now, I know most people, most divers, have probably used lift bags, but not when it comes to using lift bags with archaeological remains. So we actually use them on the different types of things we have down there, like the cannon, and we have them move the, move the artifacts across the site. After they've gone through all three of these little skills, we then take them out to the Shiner site, the actual archaeological site that was being dug uh, by Dr. Joel Shiner. When they get out there, we're asking them to look at the site in a very analytical way so that they can do what we've asked them to do uh, in the classrooms by looking at the site, looking at what has been torn down over the last few months, and then rebuilding the site so that the people using, that are taking the glass bottom boat tours can come across the site and they too can experience the underwater archaeological site that Dr. Shiner put into place. Mm-hmm.